Hi, I'm Mal Evans, Director of Coaching for Bowers England. Welcome to the Bowers England Level 1 Workout. Our personal trainer, Kate Swinson, is going to lead the workout and I'm doing mine right here in my garden. Hello, I'm Anna Maloney, Bowles England Independent Director. I'm going to be doing the workouts in my living room. Hello and welcome to workout number one. This workout is designed for all ages and all abilities. Please make sure that throughout this workout you still continue to listen to your body. If you experience any pain at any point, please stop and move on to the next exercise. So to complete this workout, um, you will need a wall that is clear from any of the furniture. You will also need a sturdy chair, which I suggest you put up against a wall so that it doesn't move whilst you're working with it. And you'll also need your bowls as well. So please grab those too, because we're going to be incorporating those into the workout today. Okay, that being said, let's crack on and first of all start with our warm up. So for the warm up, we're going to stand with our knees, uh, with our feet hip width apart, knees slightly bent, so nice and soft. It's really important throughout the whole of the workout that you stand with a nice tall posture um, and keep your core engaged. This will make sure that not only do you get the most out of the exercises that we're doing, uh, but it will also help to prevent risk of any injury too. Okay, let's get ourselves warmed up. So let's take it into some nice big arm circles, making sure that you've got some clear space around you so that you're not likely to bang your arms on any of the furniture. Really open up the chest as we bring the arms up and over. I'm going to aim to do 10 forwards and then taking it backwards. Opening up the chest, and take the arms up and round. And two more. And last one. Then we're going to do upper body rotation. So again, keeping the feet in the same position. It's just a very small movement, we're keeping the hips facing forwards. And then we're just rotating the upper torso from left to right. It's not a big movement at all. Because we want to make sure that the hips remain facing forwards. If it's uncomfortable to do with your arms elevated like so, just drop them down to the side of your body and do the same movement. The main thing is that obviously the hips stay facing forwards. And we're going to do around 16 of those. To make sure our upper body is nice and warm. Okay, so next thing we're going to do is warm up the lower body. So grabbing hold of a wall or a chair, whichever is best for you. Um, if you're very confident with your balance or you particularly want to work on your balance, you can do these exercises without holding on to anything. Um, however, obviously, please be very, very careful. Only do that if you're confident enough to do so. We don't want you toppling over. So definitely hold on to a wall or a chair if need be. And then flexing the toe, pointing up to the ceiling, we're going to lift and lower the knee. Keeping the stabilising leg, so the leg closest to the wall, my knee's slightly soft, um, slightly bent, it's nice and soft, it's not locked out. I'm just going to lift and lower the knee. Again, making sure that we're standing really nice and tall, keeping that toe flexed at all times. Excellent. And then switching it round to the other side. So flexing that toe, bring the knee up and down. Raise the knee as high as you can, or bringing the foot back down to the floor. Two more. And last one. Excellent. So now switching it around to the other side. It's a similar movement. In fact, I'll do it face on so that you can see what I'm doing better, but please continue to hold on to the wall or the chair if you need to. We're flexing the toe and we're taking Step back so you can see me. So we're taking the leg out to the side. 
keeping that toe flexed, the foot flexed and the toe pointed at all times. Got four more, three and two and one. Excellent. And then swapping to the other side. So if you're holding onto the wall, it'll look like so. Stand nice and tall. Two more. And last one. Excellent. So now we're going to get into the workout. So for the workout, we are going to use the chair, as I've explained, and also the wall and our bowls too. So please make sure that you've got that equipment to hand if you, um, if you haven't already. So the first movement we're going to do is a standing ab crunch. So we're going to raise the arms nice and high up to the ceiling, raise the knee, and then bring the arms down to meet the knee. So this is a really nice, fairly quick paced movement. Really get that heart pumping. Make sure that the arms do go nice and high to get the most out of the movement and really crunching down to crunch those abdominals as you bring the knee to meet the arms. Two more. Excellent. Probably get your heart going that one, that's good. Um, so next exercise we're going to do is a wall press. Okay, so taking the hands against the palms against the wall, standing away from the wall, not too far, but far enough that you can then press into the wall and back out again. So just working that upper body chest, building that strength, regaining your breath from the last exercise. So you stay nice and strong. We've got four more. Two and one. Excellent. So next we're going to do chair squats, okay? So I'll explain the two options for you. The first in the chair is taking your feet slightly wider than hip width apart. You're going to sit back into the chair. You are actually going to sit down, but only for a second before you get back up again. And as you come back up, you're going to push the hips through so that you'll actually increase the movement in the bottom, in the glutes. Really squeeze the bottom tight as you come up, but keep the knees slightly soft. If you want to do this exercise without the chair, you can. I'll ex explain that now. So again, taking your feet slightly wider than hip width apart um, and then sitting it back with the knees behind the toes. Making sure that your chest stays up. Don't round over and keep that core nice and engaged. Excellent, very good. So we're going to do all of those exercises again and then we'll move on to the next round of exercises. Okay, so are you ready? Can you remember what the first one was? Standing ab crunches, let's go. Taking those arms nice and tall, bringing the knee up to meet. Doing really well, keep going. Four, three, two, one. Excellent, taking it now back into our wall press. Palms against the wall, standing away from the wall, take it into a press, really opening up the chest as you press into the wall. We've got four more. And last one. And then taking it into your chair squats or your body weight squats, whichever you prefer. Are you ready? Okay, let's go. Sitting it back. Try not to hang around on that seat for too long before you stand back up again. We've got four more. And three. And two. 
and last one. Excellent, very good. Please make sure that you have a drink and stay nicely hydrated throughout all of these exercises. If you feel that you need a longer rest, please simply pause this video, have a slightly longer rest before going back into the exercises again. There is an option here to pause the video and do those three exercises one more time. It would make the workout slightly longer, but if you feel up to that and you have the energy, please do so. Okay, now we're going to grab our bowls. So we don't actually need one bowl, actually. Um, so what we're going to do, obviously these are a great weight. Um, so it's really good to use body weight exercises um, to build our strength up. So we're going to incorporate these into the next um, movements that we're going to do, the next exercises, okay? So again, standing nice and tall, engaging the core, holding the bowl in the one hand and keeping the knees slightly soft, slightly bent. We're going to take the bowl down the side of the leg as far as we can and back up again, making sure that we stay nice and tall still and that we are going sideways. We're not twisting forwards, we're not twisting backwards, we're just taking the movement nice and controlled. Now these are the exercises, and last one, and just swap to the other side. So carefully transfer your bowl over, and taking it down and up. Now these are the types of exercises that people tend to do really quickly. But it's really important that you do nice, slow, controlled movements here because the exercise will be far more effective because you're actually using your body and your muscles to make the movement instead of relying on gravity and momentum. So when you take the bowl down the leg, really stretch as far as you can before using this side oblique muscle to pull the bowl back up again. And last one. Excellent. So the next exercise we're going to do is a double-handed shoulder press. So holding the bowl nice and tightly with both hands, you're going to push the bowl up above your head and back down again. And three, and four, and five. If it's too heavy to take above your head, there is an option to drop the bowl and just simply do the movement without the bowl. Eight, nine, ten, let's do two more. Two and one. Excellent. So the last exercise in this trio is a front raise. So again, holding the bowl, I'll stand sideways so you can see me, standing nice and tall, engaging that core, we're just lifting and lowering just to shoulder height. No higher, there's no need to go any higher at all. And again, doing a nice controlled movement. So you control the bowl on the way down as much as you do to take it up. Excellent. Got four more. Four, and three, and two, and last one. Brilliant, we'll have a short rest and we'll do those three exercises again, how you're feeling. Um, please make sure, as I said before, to take adequate rest. If you feel that you need more rest, please do so. Please simply pause this video. If you want to do more, pause the video and do the exercises all again, one more time, and then you'll have actually done three rounds of everything instead of two. Okay, so let's do those exercises one more time. Here we go. So holding the bowl at the side of the body, standing nice and tall, engage that core, taking the bowl down the side of the body and back up again, making sure that you're in alignment and you're going to the side. You're not twisting and turning forwards or backwards. Excellent. This is good. We're halfway there, six more, and five, 
and four and three, two and last one. Excellent, swapping the bowl carefully over into the other hand and then on the other side taking it down, two, three, four. Keeping that posture nice and tall. We've got four more. Four and three, two and one. Excellent. Holding the bowl now in both hands, carefully bringing it to the front of the body, making sure that we stay, stand nice and tall, um, our feet are shoulder um, hip widths apart. Okay, and we're just going to take the bowl up above the head, pushing it up. And three, four, really think about your breathing. So breathe out as you push the bowl up. We've got two more, this is really good, me there. And last one, excellent. Then I'll turn to the side so you can see the movement again. So again, standing nice and tall, both hands on the bowl, lift and lower, just to shoulder height. Control the weight. Control the bowl on the way back down. Got two more. And last one. Excellent. Very good. Well done. Okay, so that is the workout complete. We're going to do some stretching um, movements now. Um, please feel free to have a drink of water before we get into that. And as I say, if you would like to, you can always do those exercises one more time round. Simply pause the video. Okay, so to stretch things out, um, we want to stay standing ideally uh, because that's a lot easier. Um, you can do these on the floor. Um, if you would prefer to. I'll show you those at the end. So holding onto wall or chair or some other stable furniture, simply taking the foot, pulling it up into the glutes, into the bottom, and then slowly tipping your hips forward just to increase the stretch in the thigh. This is where you should be feeling it. And then swapping to the other side, I'll do it facing forward now so you can see. Make sure you hold on to something if you need to. Standing nice and tall, taking that foot back to the bottom, tipping the hips forward to increase the stretch in the thigh. And then take it into a cross shoulder stretch. So taking the arm across the body, pulling it into you other arm and then taking it the other way and then clasping both hands together pushing forwards dropping the chin if you prefer to do any of those exercises on the floor instead I will show you now how to do that so taking a mat or on carpet you will lie down face Place down on the mat or the carpet and just pull the foot into the bottom and again tipping the hips into the mat just to increase that stretch. Just reaching behind, pulling that foot into the glutes and then swapping to the other side. And then if you'd like to do another stretch on the mat. You can tip your chin into your chest, round and arch the back up to the ceiling, and then dropping your tummy to the floor, 
and then looking up to the ceiling so it's in reverse really nice cat cow stretch stretching out the back muscles And there we are, workout complete. Well done, everyone. I hope you enjoyed that and it got you moving and feeling good. Um, please aim to do this workout um, three or four times a week if you can. Um, it will really help to keep your fitness levels up and also help to build um, core strength and balance too.